watching the CRS program. Let's talk about Tax Japanic Session 14. And today is um, different from as usual, right? Yes, this time we like to make some change. Mm -hmm. So we are recording outside mm -hmm. instead of taking one in office, mm -hmm. but it's a little windy. Yeah, so uh, we are so lucky today it's not rainy day, but a little bit um, hot maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and what uh, we will introduce today is really a hot spot in Tokyo. And maybe you, some of you have already know where we are. So oh, where we are now? So we are in front of Imperial mm -hmm. Tokyo Imperial Palace, yeah. one of the most popular and tourist mm -hmm. attractions in Japan. Mm -hmm. uh, Imperial Palace is visited by yeah. numerous visitors all over the world. Yeah, that's true. And some of our audience um, maybe know that Rijang's office is um, at the Marunouchi. Jodaku, which is in the center of Tokyo and very close to the Tokyo station. So, um, but uh, our office is also very close to the Imperial pa um, Palace. So, have you ever visited the uh, Imperial Palace uh, before, Ms. Nagano? No, not actually. This is my first time. Oh, really? So do I. So, today is a good chance for us to enjoy the beautiful scenery and share some stories behind the uh, Imperial Palace. Okay, let's go. Let's go. The first time I see the Emperor Palace, I can hardly believe I was in the center of Tokyo. You know, just 10 minutes walk from the Tokyo station, and there are such a calm, green oasis. I'm so impressed by the beautiful scenery, and it is just like the Tokyo's own century park. So do I actually, Imperial Palace occupies about uh, 1.15 mm -hmm. square kilometers in yeah. the central Chiyodaku. Mm -hmm. Now you can hardly find such a wonderful place in Tokyo. So for many local residents, this is a wonderful place for they are to running in the morning. And um, you can also enjoy a five, run, five kilometer running course around the beautiful surroundings. It is a historical site that attracts tourists mm -hmm. from home and abroad as well yeah. as a popular site for taking wedding mm -hmm. photos. Yeah, and I think we should explain the um, Emperor Palace's background in details because many of our audience are very interested in the Japanese history. Mm -hmm. So uh, about over 215 years, Japan was ruled by the Tokugawa Shogun during the Edo period. Edo means the old name of Tokyo, and the current Imperial Palace sits on the former Edo Castle. In, in 1868, Emperor Meiji gained power and moved from Kyoto to Tokyo, and the former Edo Castle became his home. I had that original building of, of mm -hmm. Imperial Palace yeah. was destroyed during the Second World mm -hmm. War. Is that right? Yes, that's true. But it was rebuilt in similar style afterwards. I am very interested mm -hmm. in the architecture mm -hmm. and in the palace area. Yeah. But I heard that usually Imperial mm -hmm. Palace doesn't open to public mm -hmm. except on the Emperor's birthday mm -hmm. and on 2nd of January. Mm -hmm. That's true. But you can enter the Emperor Palace by applying to join a private um, tour. Also, the grounds of Imperial Palace uh, are divided into four main parts, and three of the parts are free to enter. Where are they? Yeah, um, the Kokyo Gaien National Park, Imperial Palace East Garden, and uh, Kitanomaru Park. It seems e each of the three gardens mm -hmm. has its own character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Kokyo Gaian National Park is the most urban one, which you can enjoy the beautiful view of sky creepers of Marunouchi. And high buildings are a very interesting contrast to the um, Nijubas Bridge and the Black Pines. How about the East Garden? Yeah, the East Garden is a delightful park um, filled, filled with blooming flowers. Have you ever seen a loyal family in Japan? No, just in Tel Aviv. I, I want to see them in person. Me <laughs> <Someday>. too. Yeah. <laughs> I actually haven't seen the British loyal family either. Oh, really? Mm. In, in 
the UK. Yeah. So how do you think about that? I mean, I like to see the prince and the princess. Mm -hmm. Was that princess? Princess. Yeah. <laughs> in, in in the UK. In the UK, yeah. Um, um the very handsome. Uh, maybe where he's from. <laughs> Isn't that the Nijubash bridge? Yeah, I think that is Nijubash. Let's go. Yes, now we are arriving at Nijubashi. Yes, here we're in front. I don't think we can go that far. Yeah. No, that way actually. Uh -huh. <laughs> that way, yeah. Can just walk from the distance. But this is the first time for us to see it, right? Yes, it's my first time and it's so excited, excited but hot. Me <laughs> too. <laughs> Nijibash means the double bridge and it is one of the most famous bridges in Japan. And Nijibash is only open on special occasions such as big ceremonies. Uh, we all know that uh, Imperial Palace mm -hmm. is the residence for Japanese Imperial House, yeah. but it is little known mm -hmm. that the realization of Pax Japonica has a close relationship mm -hmm. with Japanese Imperial House. Yes, that's right. The parent house of Japan with that course also referred to as the Emperor Assembly as the symbol of Japan and the box, box of Pax Japonica. Ms. Harada share a lot of stories about the Kosu and which you can learn from the history, which you cannot learn from the history textbook. So if you are interested in them, please don't miss our following programs. The program is broadcasting on our official um, channel every week. Also, the relative column is update, updated twice on our official Rejack website. So thank you for watching today's program. Mm -hmm. If you have any comments, please don't hesitate to let us know. Yeah. See you next time. See you next time.